Hello everyone, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net. Uh, so I'm going to um, continue talking about security and Microsoft 365. Um, so continuing from yesterday, uh, we talked about the security portal, security.microsoft.com. Uh, and we set up uh, some, you know, test dummy alerts. And uh, so today, let's go over what one of them alerts looks like. So uh, here's an email that came in uh, because a medium severity alert had been triggered. So what it tells me is uh, right here in details. Uh, let me uh, hover over. So right here in details, it says 11 matched activities in five minutes. So in five minutes, 11 files had been deleted and, and I know it's that because unusual volume of file deletion so 11 files deleted within five minutes and that's an alert so I can click on view alert details and it will take me to the portal uh, which is great and another way is I can go to uh, protection.office.com and go to the same portal so now if I if I'm at protection.office.com and you know this is my standard uh, portal and we'll we'll go through each one of these sections later on uh, but what I'm interested in is an alert so if I click that button in that email it will bring me down to view alerts right here and it will show me all the alerts that have been triggered so now it's just a matter of uh, uh, going to one of these alerts just click it uh, see same alert so it's a uh, activity account uh, activity count is 11 uh, files deleted uh, it shows me it's still active uh, alert policy is unusual volume of file deletion this is one of the alert policies that I set up in uh, security.microsoft.com uh, and it sends an uh, no, uh, sends a notification to tenant admin so now uh, this gives me an, a good overview, but I want to know what user did this, right? So I'm going to click on view activity list and it will now show me who deleted these files. So all these 11 files are deleted by the same user and it's just one of the test users. And the this is the name of the file. So this is, uh, you know, uh, the user had scanned a bunch of documents and they probably filed them away somewhere and now they want to get rid of it but what i wanted to show you here also is not only does it give me the name of the user the name of the document the path of the document if i hover over the document but also the source ip address of where the user did this from so that's interesting because if this user was somewhere on the other side of the world i'll know it's a problem um, if this user I know is let's say in Texas and that IP is in Texas then everything is fine it's probably that user who deleted the file now if that user should not be deleting these files then I can uh, approach the user and ask them you know hey why are you deleting files you know and and we've seen this happen where it's a disgruntled uh, employee who's getting ready to leave and then they start deleting files or making copies of files and then deleting them and taking the copies with them and whatever have you so so this is this is a, a, a you know a, a legit uh, alert that the user meant to delete it and I can highlight it and I can do certain things I can search for similar I or I can notify the user so if this happened and I can notify the user so now the user will know that hey management knows that I'm deleting these files uh, maybe the user didn't know uh, somebody else had gotten access to their machine you know maybe they're working from home kids got on their machine started deleting files who knows but uh, I'm not gonna do that I know the user meant to delete these files and it is really that user deleting the file so i'm going to close out of here and i'm not even going to suppress it if i suppress it that will prevent further um notices to come in for a certain amount of time uh, but i don't need to uh, suppress it i'm just going to say resolve it because it is resolved so i click on resolve and right now it's active i can switch it to investigating if i'm going to approach the user this case I can resolve it or dismiss it so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to uh, say it's resolved and I can put in a comment uh, this is just a test scan so I'll just say that and, and I'll hit save 
So now once I save it, it'll save it out and it, it is status is resolved. I can close out status resolved. Everything is good. Now, if I refresh it up here, no data available. Great. So we did uh, clear that off. And that's how alerts work uh, when you set up a policy to alert you. Uh, the, it, it will immediately alert you when it detects anomalous activity. Great tool. Uh, everybody should uh, implement it in their organization. Since every organization is different, you have to make sure it's customized to your organization. Uh, so um, uh, keeping it short again, uh, like I said, like I promised, uh, I, I will see you guys tomorrow and uh, everybody be safe out there.